work on uh, this uh, Peterson Roll. Peterson Roll is the name of this move, named after the Olympic wrestling champion Ben Peterson. We've adapted it quite a bit for judo, sambo, jiu-jitsu, submission grappling because we're grappling. We're not we don't come high parterre like a wrestler would or whatever. So we've adapted it quite a bit to work for us. Okay, and we'll try to. We, we want to finish with a good hold down. We can also work into a nice bent arm lock from the top too. You'll see that in a moment. Okay. If the top guy is riding you like Ben is, okay, he's got a basic wrestler's ride, spiral ride, whatever. But he's made a, a key mistake. He's reaching too far with his right hand under. And some guys will do that. They'll reach too far rather than try to control the hip or the leg. They'll try to reach up and maybe pad up under here. Well, that's that's a mistake. Or even Derek may feel he pull it into him. But in any event. Derek's with his right hand, he's going to grab Ben's right wrist. Kind of hold on so you can see. Everybody see he's grabbing the wrist there? And when he does that, he's going to use his elbow to trap Ben's elbow too. So with Eric's right arm, he's trapping Ben's right arm. Okay? Now, he scoots his butt in down just a little bit, just enough to clear what he needs to do. You'll play with this and you'll do it, okay? And with Derek's left leg, he's going to kind of like cock Ben's leg. And kind of like a springy hip throw. And he's going to roll him, and he's going to roll all the way over and come right in to. He never lets go of this wrist, by the way. See how he rolled right into a, a rear, or a case of gatami. Ura means to the rear side, case of gatami means the scarf. Okay? Now, when he did this, he came over, and he, instead of grabbing, like in wrestling, and I'm going to say this wrong, of course, for wrestling, but it wouldn't work for us. And lay flat on your back on your butt with his hand, like a hand, and he grabs them. Some people will do this thinking they should be doing this. And you may hold them for a period of time, but you don't have much control over them as much as we want. We want to turn them all the way over into an Ura Casey Gatami because one, he's pulling real hard on this, and that really hurts the rib cage. That really does hurt. And he's got near control, he's got far control. Now in this case, he's grabbing his pants. You can grab him by the seat of his pants, you can grab his belt. Whatever you want to grab, something there, you've got this far hip control, this near arm control. And see how he's got the leg position? So he's got a nice hold there. Okay, he's nice. He can hold him there like in a judo sambo match, torso to torso for sambo, you know, freestyle judo. But let's say we've done this no gi, because you could do this no gi, you could be just grabbing and lifting the leg. But what Derek also might want to do, if bottom man Ben is starting to get away. With this hand, he can come over here, get trapped, he can kick over. Nope, no kick. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Kick over. And he kicks over. Now he's in a top Tate Shiho mount position like they would call it, MMA. But it's a Tate Shiho vertical four corner hold. Okay, so he's finished there. And now I can finish him with that. And yeah, we could go into an arm lock, whatever from him. Let's work that again, guys. So Ben get to the top, right. So you can see the ride, he catches. He gets the Peterson roll, comes right over on top, finishes there. Now, you, you may hold him there. But he says, nope, I'm going to come over, kick over, finish there. I really would like to see you finish into the Tate Shihoga Tommy, just so you've got another option for pinning or holding him down. It is, it is really a good one to do. Now, the other hole is very good, too. You might hold him there for quite some time. But I, if you see he's getting away, you know you can come over and kick over one more time. Mm -hmm. So the drill looked like this. We're going to just drill on it. We'll do it right and left. Top. Right, okay, kicks over. Okay. And one thing about that, you want to make sure when you do kick over, don't just swing your leg over. You want to trap his legs to that. Show that trap. Show that trap. Why don't you guys come back and you keep the <laughs> There you go. Alright, now watch what he does is he'll trap over. Bam, now he holds him. Now watch with his right hand. See that? That's the trap. That's pretty essential right there. Now he's still got a good ride. Comes over the top, kicks, and finish. Okay? So that's how we're finished. You good with it? I say get really good at one side for a while, but I'd also want you to do it the other side. You've got to be ambidextrous. You never know which side this guy's going to ride in front. Okay? And this is really, we'd like to be the top guy in every position, but sometimes we're not. So for the bottom man in a ride situation, this is one way, a viable way, one of many ways to get out of it. But it's a very aggressive way to get out of the bottom right position. You know, being the bottom guy sucks. I wouldn't. I don't like it. And you know, you just got to get out of trouble first. It's a good get out of trouble move, and then turn it into a 
holding situation. And you could go on to a bit normal like Udi Karami from there. <laughs> He did it for finish with the ground. Kind of turn around so the camera can just get the angle when you're doing it. Kind of aim your, aim your head toward the camera. He's coming the other side. Kick the floor. Good. There we go. Okay, there you go. Okay, now he's got the hold. Okay. He does the kick over. Okay. Comes to the top. Now he's got the knife. Now he's, he's holding him. Now he can start working that bent arm lock from the bottom. From the top. Moody Garami. I mean, if you want to finish it. Okay. Like in a sambo situation, you might want to do that. Freestyle judo situation, you might want to do that because the rules allow for that. You might even want to do that in judo. And again, this could work in any any type of a gi sport, BJJ, anything, uh, and no gi. Okay, let's drill on that for a while. Give you some a lot of time to work.